it gives me great pleasure to announce the 2020 IEEE VGTC Visualization Career Award, which goes to Catherine Plaisant from the University of Maryland. In recognition of her comprehensive body of work within the field of data visualization, including her contributions to evaluation, benchmarks, case studies, and her specific research focus on event sequence visualization. Catherine would like to say a few words now. Hello everyone. I am so incredibly honored to receive this award. I thank the award committee, the people who nominated me, everyone who organized the conference. Thank you. For those who don't know me, I grew up in France. I went to an industrial engineering school and for my PhD, I designed a system that was using speech input to activate devices around the house for people who had lost all mobility. I worked in Paris for a few years and then my partner at the time convinced me to move to the US and I got a job at the University of Maryland. The unique multidisciplinary community of the Human Computer Interaction Lab has been my home since then. I am forever grateful to Ben Schneiderman for having been my mentor early on and to for being the best research partner one can imagine for more than 30 years. A few landmarks. My first job at HCIL was to work on Hypertize, an early hypertext system. Then the focus switched to novel touchscreen interaction. Sometime your smallest work gets the most attention. This 1991 video was central as prior art in the slide to unlock patent court decision. Then the work on information visualization exploded. I focused on demonstrating the benefits of visualization in real applications, such as dynamic maps for the National Center for Health Statistics or query preview to search NASA data sets, which was the inspiration for now, the now ubiquitous faceted search. We designed many, many other novel techniques and choosing some to describe feel like favoring some of your children. Working with real users and real data has been the major thread in the work of Maryland. Let's pick the example of event sequence visualization. In 1996, we observed caseworkers of the Maryland Department of Juvenile Justice handling piles of screens like this. So we designed lifelines to summarize the record of individual juvenile offenders. And we could quantify benefits very clearly. Soon after, we worked with IBM and Kaiser Permanente to redesign lifelines to show the records of individual patients. That can be traced to current applications. Ten years later, we were challenged by folks at the Washington Hospital Center to look at collections of medical records, leading to Lifeline 2, then Life Flow, and Event Flow to summarize the records and search for complex temporal patterns. Then observing Army pharmacovigilance officer trying to manually compare patterns in two cohorts of patients inspired us to find new approaches with COCO. Finally, our last PhD student, Fendu, worked on prescriptive analytics. Because insight is great, but confidence about what to do next is what we crave for. It is very clear to me that working closely with real users and their real data has been a powerful motor of innovation for a talented PhD student to do magic. The work of our users is often complex, leading to a hunt for fresh ways to do evaluation. One of the landmarks was the first information visualization contest organized in 2004 with Jean Daniel and George Greenstein. Then, after Jim Thomas' agenda for visual analytics was published, the contest evolved into the vast challenge we launched in 2006 with George and colleagues at PNNL to provide realistic intelligence problems for the vast community to solve. The first Believe workshop offered an, another venue for discussions of evaluation of visualization techniques. It's still a challenge today, so go see the workshop as it continues at VIZ every two years. To finish, I'll mention our iSonic project, 
because I'm proud that we try to address the issue of users with vision impairments. It is possible to do it, and I hope our community will do more of that so that no one is left out of important information such as this. I hope to see you in New Orleans in person next year or in Paris whenever I can go back and do a three months visit at Inuya. A big thanks to the conference and to all the students and collaborators who have made hard work more rewarding and life more fun. Thank you. <laughs>